My name is Ibrahim Omar. I'm an Eritrean. I'm a son, brother, a friend. I'm a Muslim. I'm a former refugee. I'm a trade unionist and living wage activist. But most importantly, I stand here today in front of you, bursting with pride as a Kiwi who loves Aotearoa New Zealand. My, my journey to this place has been the long one. The story of my journey is the story of every refugee displaced and forced from, the, from their home country and their loved ones. My vision is for my, for my journey to give hope to the many other people with stories like mine. As a child, I was full of hopes and ambitions and dreams. Among the very long list of things I wanted to be and do, two things stood out for me. To be a football player, <laughs> like Ronaldo from Brazil, or a politician. But those dreams were cut short by a brutal dictatorship that killed dreams of thousands of young Eritrean men and women. Mr. Speaker, my home country, I saw politi how politics and politicians ruined people's lives. And hence, I gave up my dream to be a politician. My homeland has a long history of invasion and colonization by first Italians, the British, and then Ethiopians. The impacts of colonization are still being experienced as I speak here today. Right now, Mr. Speaker, tens of thousands of innocent Ethiopians are being displaced by this unnecessary and senseless war in Ethiopia. In the last two weeks alone, 40,000 Ethiopians have, been, have became refugees and fleeing to Sudan for safety. In addition to this, about 100,000 Eritrean refugees who have been living in the areas of conflict are now in danger. For 30 years, my country was locked in a war for independence. I remember the terror when the war raged in our city. I was young, but I vividly remember the fighting. There was no power. We had very little food. The city was surrounded by the fighters for months and months. Then independence was declared in Eritrea. I saw music and dancing, people on the streets all the time for about day and night for about a month. We believed that Eritrea could be the shining star for Africa, where else, everywhere else there, was, where there were coups and civil wars. But our country was betrayed by the same people who fought for Eritrea, who fought to free Eritrea from colonizers. They took away our dreams. And now, Mr. Speaker, Eritrea is one of the biggest refugee producing countries per capita in the world. Mr. Speaker, I end up with the final acknowledgement to all millions of people displaced around the world. Your courage in the face of unimaginable adversity will always inspire me. The reality is many millions of people will not have the luck that I have had. Until the world changes, innocent lives will continue to be lost and displaced in the hands of evil and war. That is what we must change. That is what we must change, Mr. Speaker. In my mother tongue, which is called Saho, I just wanted to say to these people, Sin Abliukani, which is I see you. Sin Arar Abliukani, which is I feel you. Insha'Allah, Prile Sinakani, which I will be on your side and fight alongside you. Norera, Tena Koto, Tena Koto, Tena Tato Katoa.